Did you know that Fort Lauderdale, Florida, is often referred to as the Venice of America? Yes, you heard it right. This charming city earned its nickname thanks to an expansive and intricate canal system. Much like the Italian city, Fort Lauderdale is crisscrossed with waterways, providing a unique and enchanting landscape. But how did this sun-drenched paradise come to be? Let's turn back the clock to 1838. That's when the first foundations of the city were laid, amid the tumult of the Second Seminole War. The city's moniker was derived from Major William Lauderdale, who led the construction of a series of forts in the region. Fast forward to 1911, Fort Lauderdale was officially incorporated, setting the stage for the vibrant, canal-laden city we know today. Now that we've set foot on the sandy shores of Fort Lauderdale, let's dive deeper into its fascinating history. The birth of Fort Lauderdale is steeped in conflict and bravery. As we delve into the city's origins, we cannot overlook the significance of the Second Seminole War. This tumultuous period in the 1830s brought forth a hero, Major William Lauderdale, whose name would forever be etched into the city's identity. The war was a fierce clash between the United States and the Seminole Indians, with the land of future Fort Lauderdale serving as a battleground. The fort built by Major Lauderdale and his Tennessee volunteers became a symbol of American resilience. Its strategic location on the New River not only served military purposes, but also played a crucial role in the city's early development. Even after the war, the city faced numerous challenges. Yet the spirit of Fort Lauderdale's early settlers never wavered. Their resilience, tenacity and unwavering belief in a better future paved the way for a city that would grow and prosper. The resilience of Fort Lauderdale's early settlers laid a strong foundation for the thriving city we see today. Transitioning from a battleground to a bustling city, Fort Lauderdale's journey was nothing short of incredible. The 20th century, particularly the period following World War II, marked a significant turning point for this resilient city. The echoes of war gave way to the hum of a rapidly growing population, as people from all corners of the country flocked to the city, drawn by its promising future and sun-kissed charm. This population boom was the catalyst for unprecedented economic growth. Industries flourished, businesses thrived, and Fort Lauderdale began to shine brightly on the map of America's most prosperous cities. But it wasn't just the economy that was transforming. The cityscape itself was undergoing a metamorphosis. The development of the iconic canal system, now a hallmark of the city, painted a new face on Fort Lauderdale, earning it the title of the Venice of America. Its transformation from a war-torn fort to a prosperous city is a testament to Fort Lauderdale's indomitable spirit. Fort Lauderdale's rich past is not just confined to history books, it's embedded in the city's very fabric. This is a city that urges you to explore, to delve deeper, to uncover the hidden narratives etched in its streets, its buildings, its waterways. Take a stroll along the river walk, and you step back in time, walking the same path as the early settlers. The Stranahan House Museum whispers tales of a bygone era, its walls bearing witness to the city's evolution. The Bonnet House Museum and Gardens offer a serene retreat, where art, history and nature intertwine. Venture to the old Dillard Museum, once a segregated school, now a symbol of resilience and progress. The African American Research Library and Cultural Center, a treasure trove of black history and culture, invites you to learn, to understand, to appreciate. Unravel the layers of Fort Lauderdale's history and you'll find a city filled with stories of bravery, resilience and triumph. So, why wait? Start your journey into the past today and discover the Venice of America like never before.